Hello, Taurus. Welcome to another Mystic Unicorn reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. We're going to dive right into this Taurus and we're going to see what love messages we have for you at this time. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. Five shuffles here for you, Taurus. What love messages do we have for you at this time, Taurus? This is one. What is going on in your love life at this time, Taurus? This is two. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oop, we've got a card already. Okay. Five of Wands. Uh-oh. All right. This is three for you, Taurus. You know, um, what I'm getting here, Taurus, is that this could involve you and your family or maybe you and friends. This is five? Yeah, all right, this is five, I guess. Um, this is between either, okay, this definitely could be between you and a loved one, like you and um, a romantic partner, especially since, you know, this is a love channel. But with that being said, we do focus on interpersonal relationships as a whole, which all involves love. Um, I don't feel like this is e internal. I feel like this is external to you, Taurus. What I'm getting here from this five of wands is that specifically it feels like this is this involves your family or your friend circle or maybe this is just you and the collective like you and the collective of humanity or just the people that are around you the people that are closest to you whatnot whatever i feel like there are a lot of opinions being thrown around i feel like there are a lot of desires or wants or needs that are being thrown around um i just get this strong energy of everybody outside of you is arguing or fighting or some or people are coming at you a certain way and it's making you feel a certain type of way but Taurus I still feel like even with that said and with all of this that's going on externally to you I feel like you're standing firm you're standing your ground and you really don't even want to be involved like I literally see you Taurus right now being that stoic strong centered grounded force to be reckoned with immovable force that is just not budging amid amidst all this chaos and overall energy so far you do have the ace of wands uh what i'm hearing is you're holding firm to your values you're holding firm to your needs your desires what it is that you want to move forward with in life even if that doesn't necessarily line up with the people around you for some of you taurus you you guys really just either need to let this go like not even engage with it or ultimately some of you really just need to allow these people to just what, Eric, to just migrate out of your life. Just let them go. Let them fall by the wayside. You know what I mean? If they're too wrapped up in their own drama to be accepting of the fact that there's more than just them around, then don't even engage, period. All right, I'm gonna take this as like an extra top energy here, but what's going on for Taurus right now? What messages do we have for Taurus in terms of love? right now what's going on in taurus's love life at this time in taurus's realm of interpersonal relationships fucking a dude excuse me i'm really not trying to curse um but look at this you have two cards so far taurus okay so you know what i'm gonna leave this here as your first card um and look at that seven of swords all right so it feels like these i'm hearing these topics of concern maybe aren't really, really even an issue. And that's kind of also why I feel like, Taurus, you are kind of standing on the outside of this, like I really don't even want to get involved. Because something about this just feels like BS. And I feel like you know that, Taurus. What's this card here? <laughs> the Six of Cups in reverse. Um, there is someone here that is having difficulty, potentially, but it feels like they're trying to play on your sensitivity or maybe your past connection with them in order to feel better about themselves. But this is deceptive, this is lying, this is cheating, this is... What I'm getting from this Seven of Swords is it feels like there's literally someone's trying to siphon energy for, from you just so that they can feel better about themselves and Taurus, you're not with it. No, you're definitely not with it because overall energy here is the Emperor. And with this emperor energy here, Taurus, I feel like you're very stoic. I feel like you're standing your ground. I also feel like you're keeping silent. Like this is very much a very wise energy in terms of if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. And I would really, I really commend you for that if that's the, the position that you're standing in. 
Okay, so let's move forward then. What's next for Taurus in this situation? What's next for Taurus in this situation? Please, Spirit. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Not in reverse. Why did I want to say in reverse? Interesting. You have two of Pentacles. What's next for Taurus here? <laughs> yeah, I love it when this happens. Do you see that? You see how that Queen of Swords fell right out and fell right on top of the Seven of Swords? Taurus, I feel like you're a human lie detector at this point. I don't feel like you're going overboard with it. I don't feel like you're trying to expose anybody for anything. I just feel like your sense of awareness is on point right now. You see exactly what's going on here, Taurus. I feel like you're seeing right through the lies, the deceit, the trickery. Okay, and with the two of pentacles here, remember how when it came out, I said to you, I said the two of pentacles in reverse. I do feel like there is that 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 makes sense. But for you, Taurus, on your behalf, you are working on maintaining this balance. So what may be in reverse with the two, in, as far as the two of pentacles, you are working to keep the balance here for yourself. Okay, what's this last card? The sun in reverse. Ooh. And then the Three of Wands. All right, uh, Taurus, I feel like you're making certain decisions right now in terms of this situation. In terms of these interpersonal relationships, I do feel like you're in the process of making a decision right now. I feel like you're keeping very quiet. I feel like you're keeping to yourself. I also feel like you're standing in a very observant energy right now. And the sun in reverse is representing certain things that are being revealed to you right now that may not necessarily be the easiest thing to accept or it may not be what you want to see or hear at this moment, but it's exactly what you need. This is bringing clarity to you. And from that point forward, Taurus, it feels like you are saying, oh, you're making a decision in, as, in terms of how to move forward here. There could be some sort of relationship that you have going on with somebody. It may be business or something like that. But it, it, what this feels like here, Taurus, is you are coming to terms with the reality of the situation. And you're, I'm hearing humbly and keeping quiet how you are choosing, deciding to move forward from this position, from this moment on. And no, it's not looking good for this person that you are deciding about or deciding on or is deciding against is what I'm hearing. I feel like Taurus, you have the upper hand here. It's you, your, your say goes. And it's not because you're in control in a sense of manipulating others or anything like that. This is just in terms of the trajectory of your life, okay? You are in control and what you say goes. And what it is you're being revealed, uh, what is being revealed to you about this person or about this circumstance, situationship, whatever, is not looking good for the other person, but it's definitely bringing clarity to you. And so ultimately that is going to be a good thing. All right. I want to, I really want to clarify here. And what I really want to clarify, three shuffles here is the sun in reverse, at least to start. So three shuffles here. This is one. Oh, no, nope, try that again. This is one. This is two. And this is three. Yeah, let's talk about the sun in reverse here. Okay, well, look at that. Overall energy so far at the bottom of the deck is the five of cups. All right, so what I'm hearing here, Taurus, is that there are definitely some realizations that are being made here that are changing the circumstances. Um, but it feels like these circumstances are changing for you because you are receiving a great deal of clarity. Understanding how this relationship really works, maybe even understanding how this relationship has been working over all of this time and you may not just have been completely aware of it. And I don't feel like this is happening, Taurus, because somebody is saying, is like coming out right and saying this is what's been going on. What I feel like is happening here for you, Taurus, is that you're starting to understand 
You're just starting to, it's, it, it's starting to, the process is, re, is, is um, revealing itself. Or the circumstances are revealing themselves as time plays out, as you've been walking down this road. Okay. What is the sun in reverse for Taurus, please, Spirit? What is the sun in reverse for Taurus? The six of swords in reverse. Yes, there is a realization here that you are not going to be able to move forward with this person or with this situation or with this relationship or with this circumstance because there is something that has been deceptive about it all along. So what I'm hearing here is potentially there really is no pathway forward. And maybe that's just under the current circumstances, right? But you can't change anybody else for them. Anything else for the sun in reverse for Taurus, please, Spirit? Anything else for the sun in reverse? Yeah, look at that. The hanged man. Damn. Um, and, and yes, even though... Oh, shit, man. Look at that. Page of pentacles in reverse. Even though the sun has come out here and the sun is the most optimistic card in the deck, regardless as to whether it's upright or reverse, and regardless as to whatever else has come out in the reading, it's still the most optimistic card in the deck. And, and it still represents the fact that things are all going to work out, well, I'm hearing, as divinely planned. Okay, that's fine. But what it is, and even though you may be on top here, or even though you may be in the, on the receiving end of some sort of intel that is helping you see clearly what this situation actually is, it doesn't mean that that was easy for you to accept, or it doesn't mean that it necessarily felt good. And that's kind of what I'm getting here with the Six of Swords and the Hanged Man. This is a tough, to, this is probably a tough position to be in is what I'm hearing, Taurus. And then you have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse is talking about rescinding a level of commitment you have put into this certain relationship or this situation. Overall energy is the Ten of Cups here. Interesting. Why is the Ten of Cups? Why is that the over... Oh. All right. Well, Ten of Cups, Justice, the Devil, and the Seven of Pentacles. This involved other people, ob obviously. I mean, we've been talking about that this whole time, Taurus, but this does, in fact, involve other people and other people's wishes and desires. And I guess people are just not following through with it or whatever, but there seems to be some justice that is, yes, see, it's not reciprocal. Ten of Cups, Justice, the Devil, the Seven of, Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Moon. And then the Five of Swords underneath the Moon there. So what is being revealed to you here, Taurus, is that this situation has not been reciprocal. And you may have been following through with the wishes of others, Ten of Cups, but there's justice coming to that because this has been toxic, it's been codependent, it's been whatever. You learned here, Seven of Pentacles, that this is not as reciprocal as you once thought. That's what's being revealed to you here. The moon, the sun. Okay. Uh... Let's talk about the Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords here for Taurus, please, Spirit? What's the Seven of Swords? Can you get any clarity for that, please? What's the Seven of Swords for Taurus? That's enough. Okay. The Magician in Reverse. And then there's the Five of Cups again. What I'm hearing, you guys... Hold on. Sorry about that. Uh, what I'm hearing here, Taurus, Seven of Swords, Magician in Reverse. The first thing I heard was you are not going to be receiving what it is you intended to manifest here. Okay. That's the realization that you've come to. But ultimately, the Seven of Swords represents someone that is being manipulative. The Magician in, the re in Reverse. And sure, manipulation happens all the time, right? If you're going to manifest what it is you desire to have in your life, you're going to have to manipulate some energies. But this is manipulation at an extreme for some, potentially. It's manipulation that is destructive, maybe even coercive. But the Seven of Swords here is clarified by the Magician in Reverse, which is ultimately saying you're not going to be receiving what it is you intended to receive, whatever it is you set out to receive here. And so there's definitely an energy of needing to cut your losses and move forward, okay? 
Um, yeah, let's, I want to, one last thing. Let's look at, what the, what's the Queen of Swords here for Taurus? What's the Queen of Swords? That one. The Ace of Cups. Self-love, self-respect. And then you have the Nine of Swords underneath that. Oh, shit. <laughs> you have the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and then underneath that is the Queen of Swords. Again. Okay? So what I'm feeling here is the Ace of Cups represents a level of self-love and self-respect and unconditional love here. All right. It, 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 it also could be representing the energy that you have been putting out towards someone else. And then there's fear surrounding that, the nine of swords. But Taurus, I don't feel like that fear is coming from you. I feel like it's coming from the other person. And that's what involved, influenced me to look under the knight of, nine of swords, because then you have the queen of swords again. Somebody is cutting right through the bullshit. And may and is not allowing that to happen again is what I just heard. So you may be in a position, Taurus, where you're saying, I love you, but no. Four of Pentacles. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Welcome to the Unicorn Herd. If you have enjoyed this reading, if it has resonated for you, if there are energies that within it that you'd like to claim for yourself, or if you'd just like to show some love and support to the channel, definitely go ahead and smash that like button for me. And as always, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love hearing from you guys. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.